what's going on guys in this video five tips to help you get jacked effortlessly without even breaking your head counting calories and all those stuff it's gonna be easy five tips things that i do every single day if you watch me i'm doing it one of them right now and that will help you get jacked effortlessly i never had abs so you might be like why does this guy doesn't have abs but he's jacked i don't know maybe genetics pretty lean though and i do train my abs but let's jump straight into it number one exercise first thing in the morning that's the number one tip do an exercise now you might be like well i'm working in the morning i don't know what wake up early wake up early my friend wake up early my brother wake up early sleep early go for a walk go for a freaking workout do something first thing in the morning don't just wake up and sit on that couch and type on that computer all day long because then you're just setting up the that's not the way to start the day start the day with moving and it doesn't have to be a workout it could be just a walk a 10 minute walk a 15 minute walk trust me what it will do to your mind is just going to be insane all right the power that your mind will have right after this the mental clarity you'll just be so so pumped for the day and ready ready to attack your day and you're starting with the win so there's no way that you'll be cheating and eating that cookie because you've already did your steps you already did your walk so now when your when your girlfriend comes and tells you hey eat this french toast you'll be like nah i just done my workout and i'm feeling on top of the word i want my protein shake all right so this is tip number one tip number two prioritize protein each meal can't say it enough prioritize lean protein each meal lean protein spoke with a guy the other day and he's like i'm not losing weight i'm not getting jacked i'm like what did you have for breakfast oh i just had one egg and uh, five or uh, four toast with peanut butter i'm like brother you need more protein get that protein and take higher you need to eat a lot more protein than that one egg is not enough bring it up to five six eggs protein shake or greek yogurt or gotta get those 40 50 grams of protein if you're a male with some muscles 10 grams of protein is not gonna cut it per meal you're just gonna be super hungry and you'll end up freaking eating carbs so overeating carbs and toast and peanut butter so you can feel full so prioritize that protein intake and honestly unlimited man don't count the protein just eat a lot of it one chicken breast you're still hungry go for another chicken breast you're still hungry go for another one you won't be hungry after two chicken breasts you'll be so full you'll be laying, laying on your couch so that's tip number two tip number three lift weight all right that's a i mean it's a it's a it's an obvious one but lift weight lift weight lift weight bodybuilding style lifting weight bodybuilding style train like a bodybuilder you want to build muscles you don't want to be doing cross i mean crossfit you don't want to be doing cardio stuff and doing those high intensity bike jumping jacks and ropes in the middle of your workouts because then you won't be training to build muscle train like a bodybuilder a bodybuilder gets their muscles to failure they focus on most of the time one to two muscle groups per workout they don't do a full body workout every single day and they train more than four times a week or more than three at least four and that's that's the way you want to go about your lifting uh program a lot of people don't lift the right way they're like well i lift weight okay well what they're doing is they're, they they get those light weight and they do a lot of full body a lot of reps and full body circuit stuff and it's just not ideal for you you don't want to be doing that you want to go a bit heavier lift weight train like a bodybuilder get those muscles to failure and get jacked that's how you'll get jacked it's by lifting weight trust me doing a lot of cardio a lot of circuit stuff a lot of calisthenics too it's you know i'm a fan of calisthenics but man that's not enough you gotta add on on it you gotta you gotta get those weights in lift weights my brothers lift weights like a bodybuilder so that's tip number three tip number four what i'm doing now i'm walking go outside and walk go get those steps in go get those steps in i have a cousin he's in los angeles i went to see him two years uh, not even two years two months ago and we were going to starbucks and he's like hold on i'll get the car i'm like bro what are you talking about what car let's go walk no wonder why you've got some fat to lose you gotta walk more man doesn't matter where you are it's hot outside or not 
find a find a place where there's a treadmill or find a place where there's, there's no sun and go walk go freaking walk you guys don't walk enough and that's the problem you want to take the metro and the subway and you got to take a bus for every single little thing go outside you have nothing to do why are you home now you can watch my video outside putting your headphones in and walking do it right now what do you have for the next 30 minutes nothing instead of staying home and scrolling through videos that you shouldn't be watching put those headphones on and go walk outside get those steps in 10,000 steps a day minimum and trust me it will help you get lean and shredded effortlessly i walk every single day i just did a two hours walk it clears up my mind man i, I woke up depressed i had a good talk on the phone with my friend phil while walking you know so that's how it is man that's how it is put those headphones on listen to a nice motivational video and go walk good music and go walk so that was tip number four tip number five make sure that the diet that you're following you're enjoying it and it's sustainable that you don't need to be taking a cheat meal or thinking about oreos every single day i know a guy that he's tried to follow a diet that's so extreme and he's like counting calories and he's like i'm eating a, a 1700 calories a day and every time i see him he's like oh yesterday i had a i had a cookie i had a cheat meal i had this i had that i'm like bro if you're enjoying your diet really you won't be thinking about the cheat meal you won't be thinking about that cookie so make sure that you're following a sustainable diet now that's a video on its own but make sure that you're eating food that you're enjoying if you hate chicken breast but you love steaks go for steaks if you love i don't know tilapia fish or whatever halibut fish well eat that in your diet if you prefer baked potato over white rice go for that for your source of carbs simple protein carbs and fats all right find out your macros i mean i can make a video on that but the sources don't really matter as much trust me unless you're going to the olympics and you want to optimize every single aspect of every single food but aside of that man whether you're eating extra lean ground beef or chicken breast trust me the difference ain't that big and you guys overstress the details so make yourself rice and extra lean ground beef with a good tomato sauce if that's what you prefer over chicken breast and white rice you know what i mean as long as the macros fit at the end of the day that's not a big of a deal so make sure it's sustainable make sure that you're enjoying your diet and trust me you will not think about cheating if you have a wife you love you won't think about cheating on her right it's the same thing same thing why would you cheat if you don't enjoy what you're doing that's pretty much it i mean i don't know about love life so i don't want to give advice there because it's not really my strength point you know but it's something i'm working on so that's pretty much it for this video guys don't overcomplicate stuff keep it simple lift weight exercise first thing in the morning make sure you're prioritizing protein don't overdo carbs too that's a big one but also it's it comes when you're not over when you're overeating protein and kind of focusing on your protein you will not be hungry enough for carbs let's say you have a meal let's say you're at a buffet and there's chicken breast there's rice there's pasta there's ground beef well there's steaks instead of going and filling up your plate with carbs and the rice and the pasta and the potatoes and the fries well focus on getting that protein intake met focus on the protein first go fill up that plate with three chicken breasts or two chicken breasts you're at the buffet go fill up that chicken breast put some veggies on and next thing you know the room that you will have left for your pasta will be so little that you won't be overdoing pasta so don't overdo the carbs carbs are good i mostly focus on carbs pre and post workout honestly but you don't have to if you want to get lean you don't have to you can eat them any time of the day you can also split it out in all your meals but don't make it the main focus the main focus has to be your protein and that's what you want to focus on and once you focus on the protein you will have not enough room for carbs all right if you're just eating pasta and a white sauce well no wonder you're overeating and you're always hungry because there's no protein in there right don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment so hard for me to make those videos as you see i have a whole team of cameras behind me and people that i'm hiring i have a lot of staff to make videos so make sure that you like them all right i'll see you guys in the next one much love ciao